on this Thursday morning. It's the first day of May 2008. It's day four of Where in the World is Matt Lauer? And the answer is Istanbul, Turkey. Take a look at this, folks. This takes a lot of skill. These are whirling dervishes. These Muslim da Muslims dance as a form of prayer. And these ceremonies, by the way, can last upwards of an hour. The dance was actually outlawed for years when Turkey was modernized, but it was revived about 50 years ago. I'm Matt Lauer. Here not far from the Blue Mosque, and we've got Anne, Al, and Natalie standing by back in New York City. It makes you dizzy almost just to look at it, doesn't it, it guys? No Definitely. kidding, Matt. So are you saying that they actually twirl for an hour, and is there a clue as to how they actually don't fall over? <laughs> Uh, no, but uh, but actually, it's a good question, and I want to bring in Erdem Yildirim, who is someone who knows all about this. He is a practicing Sufi Muslim. Erdem, good morning. Nice to see you. Thank you. Likewise. First of all, we'll get to the last question in a second, but but what's the significance of the posture, of the spinning, of the way the hands are held? Actually, the right hand is stretched to the God, and they are taking something beautiful from God and spreading it onto humanity uh, through their left hand. So. Uh, it, it's a kind of prayer, actually. How long does it take for someone to train to be a dervish? Uh, actually, for, a, uh, for to be in order to be able to be a whirling dervish, you need to practice it at least a year and a half. A year and a half. And, and you know, Anne asked a question a second ago, and I think it's a simple but very important question. How do they do that for an hour and not get so dizzy that they just fall over? Of course, they have a, a long period of exercise before getting in front of the audience and it's not uh, only something physical there is a great deal of spirituality in it so there is a great deal of help from God they are taking it's beautiful it really is Erdem thank you so much for explaining it to thank us I appreciate much. it it's a pleasure to meet you likewise thank you so guys there's been a little something for everyone this morning from the traditional to the historic to the exotic to the dizzying although mm. very spiritual what do you beautiful. think guys beautiful yeah, really we've learned so much I mean it really, so far, through this trip and the where in the world, and we've just learned so much about so many different cultures. So yeah, it reminds me of the poetry of uh, Rumi, actually. Listening. Yeah. That, that's so beautiful. And you've always heard that term, a whirling dervish, and now we know where it comes from. Yeah. It's amazing. Exactly. You know, it's funny, Al. I had heard the term so many times, I had no idea what yeah. it was until I saw it behind me. Wow. Anyway, guys, that just about does it for me. I'm going to wrap it up here from Istanbul, Turkey, and I'm going to head off to hey. Parts Unknown for day five, and before I go, I want to give you that clue, just one more time. And by the way, congratulations because you guys are doing a really good job this week, Thank Al, you. in particular. Very very impressed with you. So here is the clue. I'm going to try, try not to get wound up in a whirling dervish here. Here's the clue for day five. Many come here to see the natural wonders, but the national symbol is for your eyes only. Many come here for the natu natural, natural wonders, but the national symbol is for your eyes only. So, wow. chew on that for a James while. Bond. Adventure. Okay. Well, let's my safe, lips are sealed. Safe <laughs> travels, my friend. <laughs> this looks like a nice Thank ride. Thank you very much. All He's right, going we'll in see style. you guys tomorrow from day five. Very okay, nice. have a great time getting there. Another, Be safe. Have a great job. Get some sleep. <laughs> Underway. And he's getting a standing O as he goes. That's great. <laughs> he deserves it. He absolutely deserves it.